Hello everyone. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. Cameroon says rebel bomb kills officials. This article is taken from the Voice of America. Anglophone separatists in Cameroon have claimed responsibility for an attack Wednesday that killed seven people, including a senior official and a mayor. Cameroon's military says the officials were on a tour to raise support against the rebels when a homemade bomb hit their car. That is an IED, a, 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 an improvised explosive device, I assume, or a roadside bomb. Um, for those who don't know, Cameroon has, uh, from what I understand, a small section of, relatively small, because it's a large, uh, rather large, a, a fairly large country, uh, a, a relatively small part of the, the country, the French-speaking country, is actually English-speaking, and it neighbors Nigeria. So the insurgency there, they, they have separatists. Um, and it'll, we'll get into it in the article, uh, they pose a problem not only for the Cameroonian government, uh, but the Nigerian government as well. The government said the explosive device hit the official's car in Bekora village in the Akondo TT district of Cameroon's English-speaking southwest region. The government says six officials, including Timothy Aboloa, highest government official in Ekondo Titi, Nanji Kenneth, mayor of Ekondo Titi, and Ebuku William, the Ekondo Titi president of Cameroon's ruling Cameroon People's Democratic Movement Party, died on the spot. Cameroon's military said after the device exploded, separatist fighters hiding in a nearby bush started shooting. And this is a common tactic. It was when I, when I was in Iraq, uh, when road, IEDs, roadside bombs, became very um, popular. Um, the, they were a way to start an ambush because if you... If, if a vehicle, usually a convoy, because you don't have just one vehicle, at least in Iraq, we would have three vehicles at least traveling together. And uh, so the first vehicle, they would set it off, obviously, on the side uh, while they were watching you go by. And they would, uh, whichever vehicle they, they chose, maybe it would be the last, it didn't matter, but... They would uh, set off the IED, the improvised, the roadside bomb, ex improvised explosive device, and it would blow up the truck, and then you would have to get out because you can't drive it anymore. And then, you know, usually it was the first vehicle, and so the vehicles behind would have to stop, and then, you know, they would get out and everything, and then they would come out and they would start shooting. So uh, this is sta standing operating procedure when it, uh, for insurgents. Bernard Okalia Belai is the governor of the Southwest region. Belai said several government troops sustained injuries and a military official died while being rushed to a local hospital by the military. Belai spoke during a press conference broadcast by local media, including Cameroon State broadcaster CRTV. All the six occupants of the car died. The other forces of law and order military who were in the pickup following the official's car was wounded. Uh, one young officer, a lieutenant, was wounded and he too passed away. So in that attack, we have lost seven persons, he said. The lie said the officials were on a meet the people tour of Ekando Titi. He said during the tour, the officials were expected to educate civilians on braving separatists and relaunch economic activities in their towns and villages. Belai said the officials were also asking civilians to report suspected fighters hiding in their towns and villages, which I completely agree with. Uh, that's a good tactic. Cameroon's military on Thursday said troops were deployed to Ekonde 
TT shortly after the explosion. The military said the troops will track and arrest or kill the fighters should, be, should government troops face any resistance from the rebels. Capo Daniel is the Deputy Defense Chief of Staff for the Amazonia Defense Forces, said to be the largest separatist group in Cameroon. Capo said separatists regret that one fighter has been missing since Wednesday's attack. He said no fighter was wounded and none were killed by government troops in the Akondo TT attack, as reported by Cameroon military. Capo spoke to Voice of America via a messaging app. This operation is part of our liberation operations to end the Cameroon occupation and rule of Abazonia territory. The divisional officer is in charge of coordinating Cameroon's military operations in Cameroon's occupation of Amazonia territory. We will continue to battle and resist Cameroon rule of Amazonia until the last Cameroon military is booted out of the territory. He said, Cameroon separatists have been fighting since 2017 to carve out an independent English speaking state. <laughs> a a um, colonial language. And it shows you how backward these people are. And the majority, I would have some respect for them if it was an indigenous language that they wanted to speak. And the majority French speaking Cameroon, the separatists say their state will be called Amazonia. Fighters have vowed to attack any workers sent by the central government in Yaoundé to the English-speaking Western regions. The separatists say they will continue attacking government offices and staff until the central government withdraws its troops from the troubled Anglophone regions. The United Nations says the conflict has left more than 3,500 people dead and 750,000 displaced. 